Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So, I've had a bit of an exciting week. I'm currently wearing my Arwen dress ready for the Rings of Power because I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I have a very interesting week. Um, so if you didn't see my previous video, basically, um, I got a... I won tickets to the Rings of Power premiere in London. Uh, which was really, really exciting. Um, I wasn't expecting to ever get to go to premiere because, like, you know, that's that's crazy. You have to be like a, you know, big to be able to go to these. Um, Star Wars, if you're listening, please invite me to the Star Wars premieres as well, please. Um, but yeah, I had the best time ever. It was so incredible. Like, um, going to going to London, going dress shopping, and then dressing up as an elf was like the greatest thing. And so much happened. Like when we got there, um, like the setup was so beautiful. I'm sure you've seen photos of it by now. If you haven't, there's photos on my Instagram. Um, but my God, the entire set was so beautiful. Um, and we got in, we got like taken to our fan pen, which is I'm not still not a fan of the word of the the name. But we're going to roll with it anyway. Um, and we got recognized by a couple of people. Like a couple of photographers came up and were like, Hey, you guys really look the part. Can we take a photo? And can we take a video? And we ended up on like the, the Yahoo website, on the Daily Fail website. Uh, we ended up on... It's actually not the Daily Fail. It's called the Daily Mail. But they do a lot of controversial controversial shit. So I call it the Daily Fail. Um, we ended up on the lord of the rings like instagram and twitter account like in their little video that they made which is pretty freaking cool um and yeah we the all the photographers and stuff came up we also got interviewed as well um we got asked like oh hey would you guys like to do an interview i have no idea where it's going to be shown but i'm very scared because i was very nervous i've never done like an interview before um so that's going to be somewhere apparently it was shown on one of the big screens and that's scary, but I'm sure I'll be somewhere eventually. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. And then like the cast started to come in. Um, and the cast, including, obviously not part of the cast, but including John Reese davies who is literally one of the sweetest people I've ever met. He went along the he went along the fans and he took his time to speak to every single person. He did not rush along. He literally stopped at every single person and he took his time and he spoke to everyone. He made conversation. He signed things. He took photographs. And I, of course, got a lovely photograph with him. And it was incredible. It was unbelievable. And when he saw us, he was like, oh, the elves have shown up today. And we were just like, yes, we got noticed by him. It was so it was so surreal because I wasn't expecting him to show up. Nobody was. Um... So that was pretty awesome. Some of the cast had seen like seen us and smiled at us, and uh, we didn't really get to talk to much, too many of them um, because you know they were in a rush. They had a lot of things to do, interviews to see, and other people to go and talk to and stuff. So we didn't really get to see very many of the cast. Um, but some of them from the little stage did sort of point at us because of our elf ears, because you know we we just looked the part, you know. Um, so that was a, a really really cool experience. My only issue with it is they don't really cater for accessibility. Like I was standing, we were standing there for like four hours, maybe three, three or four hours, like most of the time doing nothing. Um, luckily, I had a railing in front of me that I could lean on. But if I didn't have that, I would have probably passed out because they don't have any anything for disabled people. Um, so that was a bit of a bummer, but it was still worth the pain in the end. Um, and unfortunately i so one of my main my main aims of the thing was to meet Barry mccreary because i knew that he was going i'd seen his post on instagram saying he was in london and i got really excited because i absolutely adore like his his music like god of war got the god of war soundtrack is one of my favorite well one of if not my favorite video game soundtracks um, and to know that he is doing Lord of the Rings was absolutely incredible. Like, I was like, oh my god. Like, when it got announced, I was like, oh shit. So I was really hoping to meet him. Um, and I got to see him on, like, the big screen when he was getting interviewed and stuff. And, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to, I didn't get to meet him. Um, but I have spoken to him on Twitter since, which has been a huge honor. Um, and 
I'm I will say before I get into the episodes and stuff, I will say that it, like the soundtrack. If you haven't heard it already, go listen to it on Spotify because it's absolutely incredible. And I'm so being able to hear that in the cinema was incredible. So that's what I'll get onto next. Is after the like the cast and stuff got in, we then got led off to the uh, cinema where we got seated and they gave us a little a little box of popcorn some Kit Kats with very special Lord of the Rings uh, Kit Kat wrappers on them, uh, a little bottle of water. Um, and yeah, it was really, really nice. Like they, they were all themed as well. So I still I, I still have them, I've kept them. Um, and yeah, we got to watch the first two episodes on IMAX screen and it was incredible. It was such a good experience. Like even, even if it wasn't like, so I really enjoyed the episodes personally, which you'll see in my reaction, well, my second reactions, um in my other videos but i really did enjoy it but even if i didn't enjoy the episodes it was still such a good experience and i can't i'm i can't thank amazon enough for running this competition and letting me win because like oh my god it was insane it was so insane i had such a good time i met some new people um i got to spend the day with nos which was incredible we got to be elves for the entire day and it was just so much fun um and yeah, it was it was just great. So I'll like I said, there's some photos that I can that I can maybe put up here as I'm like talking. Um or you can go to my Instagram stories and see the the stories there. Um Yeah, it was very very good experience. So in my next two videos, I will be reacting reacting slash reviewing the episodes because obviously I've already seen them, so it's not going to be a first time wow reaction. It's going to be me re-watching them and being like, oh my god, yes, this part's incredible, like, this is great. So it is it is me reacting to it, just not for the first time. Um, so I will be doing that as soon as I finish recording this video. I just wanted to do a little update to let you guys know how the event went. Um, and yeah, that's it, basically. So uh, I'm going to go and record my reactions to the episodes. I'm very excited to rewatch them again. I've seen... Twitter has actually been surprisingly positive. There's been a couple of negative things that I've seen pop up. A um, couple of people trying to argue with me and telling me that I got paid by Amazon. Bitch, if I got paid by Amazon, I, well, I would say... I, why is Amazon going to pay me to say, hey, I enjoyed this. I'm literally a Star Wars fan. I have to deal with this shit on a daily basis. Like, I, I know how to... I, I'm prepared for this shit. But I really, really did enjoy it. And I am not being paid to say that. Amazon has not had any influence over this. I can prove it. I mean, messages and emails, anything. The only thing Amazon have ever sent me is, hey, you won, congratulations. Um, and I'm not just going to say, oh, it was really good just because I got invited. Because there is some parts of it that I was a bit like, eh. But that's the same with everything like i enjoyed like 99 percent of it it was really really good i genuinely really enjoyed it now granted i don't know a lot about the lore i know some people are saying oh this part of the lore didn't happen and this part didn't happen and this got changed i personally have no idea i have not read the silmarillion i don't know like the past of all like some of the elves that are in it or some of the dwarves i do not know the history of very many things i know from the hobbit onwards so anything from the past i do not know i know nothing so I was basically going into this blind and I personally absolutely loved it. The visuals are stunning. The music is stunning. The cast is stunning. Every single part of it is just beautiful. So I'm really excited to upload my secondhand reactions and then obviously my reactions to the rest of the season when that comes out. So thank you guys for uh, watching and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video for my reactions. I don't really have an outro for these. Um, like with my Star Wars videos, I'm like, ah, oh, may the force be with you. What am I supposed to say? Like, may my my sword and my bow and my axe be with you? That kind of works. Okay. Bye.